Thanks for tuning in to this episode of healthcare.gov How To. My name is Janine Scholander, and I am joined by Amy Coven. We are outreach and education coordinators for the Oregon Health Insurance Marketplace. Our primary goal is to help Oregonians find their best affordable health insurance option and take advantage of all the great included benefits. Today, we will be talking about special enrollment periods. A special enrollment period, often called an SEP, is a 60-day window following a major life change. We call these changes qualifying life events. Some examples include involuntarily losing coverage due to a loss of job or turning 26, having a baby, adopting a child, a move, gaining citizenship, and getting married. Other life changes may trigger a special enrollment periods such as a divorce, death, losing the Oregon Health Plan, and getting released from incarceration. After you submit your qualifying life event, you should expect healthcare.gov will request to review supporting documents to verify your life change. These documents will vary depending on the change you submitted, but may include a birth certificate, proof of a move, marriage certificate, citizenship paperwork, or COBRA letter. Your eligibility notice will list any next steps that you need to take, including choosing a plan and submitting requested documents. The notice will list the due date for submitting documents as well as what documents are being requested. There are two ways to submit documents to healthcare.gov for review. The quickest and most efficient way to submit documents is by logging in on healthcare.gov and uploading your documents. You may also send the documents to healthcare.gov via snail mail. We do not recommend this option as it may take longer to be received and to process. You cannot send your documents via certified mail, so there will not be a way to verify they were received. Submitting a life change is generally a three-step process. Step one is to submit the change itself, which you must do within 60 days of the life event. If you're losing health coverage, you can submit this change before your plan actually ends to avoid a gap in coverage. Step two is to enroll in or change your plan. Not all life changes will open a special enrollment period, which allows you to enroll in or change plans outside open enrollment. Check your eligibility notice to see if you're eligible for a special enrollment period. We recommend choosing a new plan as soon as possible, even before you submit your supporting documents. Step three is to submit, sub submit supporting documents as requested by healthcare.gov. Documents must be received within 30 days of the date on the eligibility notice. The due date and type of documents requested can be found on the eligibility notice. Once healthcare.gov reviews your documents, your plan selection will be sent to your insurance company. Your plan enrollment or change will become effective depending on the date you enrolled. Generally, if you enroll between the 1st and 15th of the month, your plan will start on the 1st of the next month. If you enroll between the 16th and the end of the month, it will begin on the 1st of the following month. There are a couple of exceptions. For example, if you got married or involuntarily lost coverage, the plan will start the first day of the next month, even if you enrolled at the end of the month. If you gained a dependent through marriage, birth, or adoption, your plan will start on the date of the event. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it clears up your questions about special enrollment periods. Visit our YouTube channel for more helpful videos and check out OregonHealthCare.gov for more information.